Scylicium or Scolacium was an ancient seaside city in Calabria, southern Italy. Its ruins can be found at the Frazione of Rosselletta, in the commune of Borgia, near Catanzaro, facing the Gulf of Squillus. History Scylicium was situated on the east coast of Calabria ancient Brutium, on the shores of an extensive bay, to which it gave the name of Scylletica Sinus. It is this bay, still known as the Gulf of Squillus Italian, Golfo di Squillus, which indents the coast of Calabria on the east as deeply as that of Hipponium or Torina the Gulf of St. Euphemia, Italian, Golfo di Sant Euphemia is on the west, so that they leave but a comparatively narrow isthmus between them. According to a tradition generally received in ancient times, Scylicium was founded by an Athenian colony, a part of the followers who had accompanied Menistheus to the Trojan War. Another tradition was, however, extant, which ascribed its foundation to Ulysses. But no historical value can be attached to such statements, and there is no trace in historical times of Scylicium having been a Greek colony, still less an Athenian one. Its name is not mentioned either by Silex or Simnus Chus in enumerating the Greek cities in this part of Italy, nor is there any allusion to its Athenian origin in Thucydides at the time of the Athenian expedition to Sicily. We learn from Diodorus that it certainly did not display any friendly feeling towards the Athenians. It appears, indeed, during the historical period of the Greek colonies to have been a place of inferior consideration, and a mere dependency of Cretona, to which city it continued subject until it was wrested from its power by the elder Dionysus, who assigned it with its territory to the Laurians. It is evident that it was still a small and unimportant place at the time of the Second Punic War, as no mention is found of its name during the operations of Hannibal in Brutium, though he appears to have for some time had his headquarters in its immediate neighborhood, and the place called Castra Hannibalis must have been very near to Scylicium. In 124 BC the Romans, at the instigation of C. Gracchus, sent a colony to Scylicium, which appears to have assumed the name of Minervium or Colonia Minervia. The name is written by Velius Scolatium, and the form Scolasium is found also in an inscription of the reign of Antoninus Pius, from which it appears that the place must have received a fresh colony under Nerva. Scylicium appears to have become a considerable town after it received the Roman colony, and continued such throughout the Roman Empire. Towards the close of this period it was distinguished as the birthplace of Cassiodorus Aurelius Cassiodorus, founder of the Vivarium, a monastery dedicated to the coexistence of Coenobitic monks and hermits, who has left us a detailed but rhetorical description of the beauty of its situation, and fertility of its territory. Cassiodorus' writings also make mention of production of highly priced terracotta. The early medieval Roman statesman Cassiodorus was born in Scylicium. Sculpture In 2006 a sculpture with the title Time Horizon was set up in the park by the English sculptor Antony Gormley. Literature Antony Gormley, Time Horizon Intersezioni, Intersezioni II al Parco Archeologico di Scolasium, 2006 ISBN 88-370-4583-2 Notes References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Smith, William, ed., 1854–1857. Article name needed. Dictionary of Greek and Roman Geography. London, John Murray. Richard Talbert, Barrington Atlas of the Greek and Roman World, ISBN 0-691-03169-X, Map 46.